After skipping several crucial votes on a constitutional amendment bill that was to pave way for the formation of a local tribunal to try suspected perpetrators of the post-election violence, finally the government was to suffer humiliating defeat. Surprisingly, most of those who were rooting for a local solution have changed tact. But Justice Minister Martha Karua claims that it has just dawned on those politicians that the process of seeking justice through the international criminal courts might even take more than 20 years. We, the so-called political elite, we can distort the debate, confuse it completely, until the public is not able to make a rational decision. I am urging you to expose us at every turn, to the extent that we are between a rock and a hard place. The process of trying a suspect at the Hague is said to be slow and tedious. The ICC on its own does not have police to arrest suspects and will therefore rely on its universal jurisdiction to seek the apprehension of those it wants. But Karua states that the only way out is to have an overhaul of the whole constitution. When it comes to making a document that will guide our future, we need to agree as a society. What values do we hold dear? What is the minimum we expect of each other? Concern that was also raised by the editor's guild, who had attended the breakfast meeting with the justice minister. Our leaders actually hijack the issues, and even when they come in the name of education, what we see is opportunistic positions. And we do hope that they will be able to let this process run without interference, to let this process run without being a hostage to cheap politics because we want a good constitution. Currently some leaders from Africa who have suffered the ICC way they include former Liberian President Charles Taylor as well as former dear Congo rebel leader Thomas Lubanga. Another rebel leader Laurent Mkunda might be headed in that direction after his arrest in December. Chris Dairu, Citizen TV.